Okay, I uh, went to buy the uh, cigar place, and uh, my friend Keith told me I need to try this. This is because I wanted something strong. I've got all these mild cigars left, and I wanted something good and strong. This is Diesel Rabbit Hole Anyway, there it is. I know you have to read it backwards. That is a good looking cigar. Of course, this is made by uh, AJ. Let's see if I can find this one here. Oh, goodness. That's backwards. That's unusual. All right, so let's get this one a try. Get my star lighter over here. There we go. Good looking thing, huh? All right. Okay, I thought maybe that was two different types of um, wrapper, but it's not. That's just part of the um, band. I'm looking forward to this. I should have had some bourbon, but I didn't stop and get any more. And I did have some wine, so I put it on on a glass. Whiskey Row is with this one. All right, that's the first draw. It's still on my palate, but it's all that strong. All right, for a diesel, that is smooth, and I like diesel because I want something strong, and this is not what I was looking for. So we're going to smoke this down together and see if it comes, comes out. It's beautifully made. You know, AJ, what can you say? That is just beautiful. No seams, just absolutely gorgeous. Let's take another puff. Wow, not what I was expecting. It's got a nice finish. It lingers, but it's not strong, and the smoke is very pleasant. I was looking for something strong. Hmm. through the nasal pa passages, there is no spice. Now you think from AJ, you would be a big time pepper bomb, you know, but it's not. Maybe that will change as we go down and we're gonna sit here and, mil and, and smoke this together.
I'm trying to figure this out. I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very interesting. On the palate, when you take a puff, it lingers, but it's not there for too long. And the smoke itself, I'm getting something on it. And I know this was done in a sherry cast or something, but I don't know if that's what I'm getting or if it's just the uh, tobaccos. But I tell you what, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Through the nasal part, part and that the, the nose, it's absolutely fantastic. No spice. It's it's gentle. It's flavorful. Let's see if we can pick up something else. Wow. Very, very sensual. That's the word for I'm looking for. As far as flavors, I'm getting some bourbon, but it's not heavy. Beautiful, beautiful ash. I'm going to set it down, reach behind me, and uh, get what I've got here to drink. Let's see here. Show R O S E. Sorry, can't say it. It is what it is. Cheap. Sweet. It's raspberry. That's what I'm getting on this. Hmm, interesting. I think I was in Germany in 1988 and uh, I rode home. I just in, just um, in, in, in listed and I had a big bonus. So I went home and I was going to, to uh, buy a new another motorcycle. And I did. I bought a brand new uh, low rider. And uh, it was a nice ride. And I had one here and I had one in Germany. So I figured when I left Germany, I would sell the one that I had there. And I did. And after two years, I still got what I made for it because the the right right mm, right wrong mm, the exchange was low when you were going from us to them. So I think it was down to like 1.5, and I got uh, 15,000 marks for the bike and got 10,000 US. In exchange, that was that was really terrible. It was good for me, but when you were trying to go out on the the town uh, and getting something to eat or getting a woman, it was more expensive. Wow. It's just not what I was expecting at all. At all what I'm out. Beautiful, beautiful ash. Not extend, you know, perfect burn. But uh, that will probably just straight itself out.
I'm going to say it's mid medium bodied, mild than I ever thought this would be. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting, expecting a powerhouse of uh, a diesel, like the uncut. But he said, try this. This is a Doro, Toro. But if you can see that beautiful, beautiful wrapper, and I did not find out or I didn't look for what type of wrapper it is. It's not, not a bumpy one, so it's not a broad leaf. Maybe it's a Mexican. But it's good. Would I buy them? I would probably go and, and look for something a little more stronger. Now, of course, if I had a blended uh, whiskey, like Canadian, this would go very well. Or I'm trying to think of it. What it was the type of bass cast it was in? Sherry. I'm not big on sh sherry, nor port for that. The, the 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 finish is the uh, the thing. It's still there, but it's so mild. Cream is not the the word I'm looking for. Through the re, re, so cream, well, smooth, mellow, that's the word, mellow. But as far as flavors, I'm not picking up that I can just say, oh, well, this is this is sugar and caramel and um, coffee or that. I'm not getting any of that. But there is some sweetness on it, like brown sugar. And it's still on my lips. Let's look at that ash. Absolutely perfect. A stack of dimes. AJ, what can you say? He's a master. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to reach back here and have some more of this wine. And the reason I, I, I mentioned that I was in Germany at, in 1980, I remember like it was yesterday, the flight each way was 270 one dollars and I was in Frankfurt and it seemed to be this must have been right before uh, built bike way week week because I got the bike and rode down there so it was also that when the new wines in France and I, I cannot pronounce it with my speech new something and all of the the wines had a raspberry taste not sweet like this 
and it was really, really good, and it was really, really true, true, or cheap, and all of that wine is basically the first weight wine of the year, and it's imported or exported out. So they don't actually drink a lot of it in France. Okay, so the perfect tone flow right off. Yeah, it was really good. As the pair, I remember it saying, somebody was saying that was the best year for that type of cheap, early, new wine that it had for 10 years. And that was also um, that when I was in Frank Frankfurt's, I uh, always would stop and get a cigar. And uh, I think I was smoking that night because you could still inside. Um, that was a Dofago Dof, Dof number one Churchill from Havana. And then the next year, they stopped making them there because he wasn't fine. He wasn't, Zeno wasn't uh, happy with the production. So he went to a con 100 time, you know, went from Cuba to Hinky over there in the Dominican, where they're made now, and um, totally, totally s taste. The new ones are more, how do I say this? They're always good from year to year to year. He does a great day, you know, and that's why you spend for that kind of money. You know, I was making dollar twenty a box bucks for Havana's, and now look at them today. Well, they're probably seventy now. Whew. It's just hard for me to spend that kind of money. That's why I'm getting these bundles. All right, I, I digress. All right, back to... Mm. That was nice through the, through, the, through the nose. That time I picked up some liquor but not harsh everything about this cigar is not about being powerful it's very nice and I'm actually I'm just making it too quick but here we are I haven't done a long vid in a long time Just sweet, sweet. A little bit of liquor taste. Still, you have some of that brown sugar. And it lingers on the, the mallet, palate. <laughs> palate. <laughs> oh, boy. Quite interesting. And I'm still picking up that sweetness. Incredible. Different. Perfect draw. And there it is again. Brown sugar. Very interesting. Beautiful ash as far as color. 
that tells me that this is very well aged tobacco. When you get a white uh, ash like that, that usually means that you have well aged tobaccos. All right, so we're out of the third, first third, and it's been the same um, with the brown sugar and um, the, the mellowness of this smoke. Okay, we're at, you know, two, 20 minutes. So this is going to ask last me at least an hour. And I'm not going to bore you with my speech. Um, if you've had this or something similar in this um, ones that he's made in this line, tell me. And if you've had this, please tell me what you you pick up on the uh, on the palate. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just keep keep smoking this and if anything changes because sometimes they say they change from third to third but so far it's been a very nice different wonderful experience and uh thank you for enjoying it with me So I got that, and then I picked up, because I, I smoked these two. These are the Kings, and they are definitely bourbon flavored. Big time with that Kentucky Cure tobacco. I love these. This is totally different. So much milder. And I've still got that sweet brown sugar on my mouth. You know, when I really like a cigar, you can tell tell because I'm always doing the Ray, row, row, nasal thing. You always pick up a little something that you miss on the palate. And we go with that beautiful, beautiful color cash. Yep. Still got it right there. Very nice. I know I said I was going to shut up and cut off the vid. All right, let's drop the ash and see what the cone looks like. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. AJ's the master. I'm liking it. The more I smoke it, the more I like it. I just wish I had something better than this uh, rosé. Oh, I actually said it. Ah. And of course, you know, me and my 101st Airborne. This I got from a, a cigar shop up there. And uh, that was their motto. He's got the cigar in the mouth and Pretty cool. Yep, lots of raspberry something.
say when I didn't go through the news nasal different flavors more liquor but still sweet I really like it through the nasal part, passages. Very nice. Okay, that's uh, we're about halfway through, maybe a little bit less. So we're at 26 miles um, minutes. So I don't want to take up all of your time. But uh, if anything does change, I'll put the tom comments down below. And uh, once again, if you tried this, please tell me. All right, good night.